Good afternoon all. Uh, others has talk, uh, talked about standards. The topic today is uh, how standards level playing field. So since others have covered uh, much about standards, let me restrict myself to level playing field. Well, what is level playing field? You know, in uh, games particularly, uh, football game you take, you know, uh, the slope makes very important. You know, uh, the team having playing you know along the slope has got more advantage compared to the other team. So the people cannot level the field, right? Putting more sand, take a bulldozer and level the field. It's very difficult. What they do? They simply make a rule at the off time the teams interchange the position. So both the parties have equal opportunities, right? So level playing field is actually providing equal opportunity so that all the all the players have got same opportunity or same chance of succeeding that's actually level playing field now the concept is very interesting because it is you know for, it is followed for years okay uh, not now even those days even in our puranas ramayana mahabharata everywhere but just give one instance in ramayana the war between rama and ravana ravana is a king he is playing, you know, he is just fighting on a chariot with, you know, uh, big chariot, you know, with all uh, professionally arranged army. But Rama is actually, you know, an army of uh, Vanaras. So Rama is just, uh, you know, fighting, standing on the ground and, you know, Ravana is the height. Here in a war with the bows and arrows, you know, uh, the aerodynamic says that, you know, arrows going from at a lower level to higher level has got some weakness because they are going against the so look. Whereas people, uh, you know, even arrow from the higher position, higher elevation has got much more advantage, right? So how exactly the level playing field of provider? Aruman saw this and he says, you, you Aruman took him on his shoulder and Harman has got a power to, you know, change his height as much as he want. So he just put him to the right height so that Rama could, you know, uh, fight with Ravana with the level playing field. What about uh, Mahabharata? You know, Krishna was with, uh, you know, give an impression that Krishna was with Pandavas, right? But it's not actually so. Both Arjuna and uh, Duryodhana together went together, you know, they want to have support of Krishna. So Krishna, how exactly make the level playing field? He said, okay, you just choose between me and my army. So the Pandavas took Krishna to their side and Krishna gave his army to Duryodhana's side. So that way there is a level playing field. What about real life? Let us forget about Puranas and all. No, Puranas are very old. Is there level playing field in our real life? That's the question. Take it home, uh, real life, education, field, business, work, anywhere. Is there level playing field? That's the question. Asked me many people. One of, the, one of my friends asked whether there is a level playing field between husband and wife. I think uh, you only have to answer. So uh, my friend used to say, yes, now in my house there is a level playing field no, between me and my wife. Because, you know, say take your example of decision making. No? We have just divided the decisions, you know. All major decisions I will take, my wife will take minor decisions. Then he asks, what are major decisions you take? He says, no, whether India should participate in uh, UN Security, <laughs> Security Council, <laughs> whether uh, America should invade uh, Iraq or Iran. This type of major decision I will take, you know, all other small decisions I leave it to my wife. Well, uh, I remember a story, you know, I take up a level playing field, you know, how exactly the, the God or fate or whatever it is, they enforce level playing field in real life. You know, uh, as a person, you know, uh, as a big hospital, a corporate hospital in Chennai, outside there is a tree, a mango tree. Begin just below the mango tree, a cobbler fellow, a poor fellow is, you know, uh, searching the chapels and other things, cobbler. So that day no client has come, the small boy, you know, boy of 18-20 years, he is just waiting for clients, very hungry. He tell, God, you are not fair. See, everybody is enjoying and you are not giving me even one customer today, I am very hungry. 
God, you are unfair, like that, you throw like that, top like that, what happened? One mango fall on his hand. Oh, he's very happy. Just I call God and he's given me something. Just he was taking bite on it, he saw one drush like a sound. You know, a young boy equal to his age, going on a, a scooty. No? This fellow immediately, you know, just before, five minutes back, he was praying, he was praising God. Now he's telling, God, you are unfair. See, I'm 18 year old, that fellow is 18 year old. You are giving me only mango. You see, that fellow is given, going on a scooty, is enjoying life like that. So God was just thinking, you know, you are seeing that fellow, scooty fellow. And just five minutes afterwards, another sound has come. God, you are unfair. This time from the scooty fellow, because he see one more fellow nearby him, you know, going on a, you know, that, uh, you know, this is uh, big, uh, bigger bikes are come, 180 cc. What bike, you know, Pulsar bike is going. Huh? Not only going, you know, he just began it on beautiful girl was sitting. Huh? So this fellow is telling, what is this? You are giving me only a scooty, whereas other fellow is going on a Pulsar 150, 180cc bike. And what way the fellow is enjoying, you know, only I am like this. So all the fellows are sitting on a, you know, the signal. You know, God is saying what is happening. And just the next signal comes, uh, this time the God you are not fair. From who is talking? That uh, what is called the... Pulsar fellow is talking, God you are not fair. Because the next signal, when you just see behind, that beautiful girl was not in the seat. Because she is sitting on the next car, which is a BMW car, he says, no? <laughs> so this fellow says, sir, what is that? Everybody is having BMW car, that one, this one, and you give me only a bike. Okay, now what happened? The BMW car is going on a Gemini flyover. And you know, that day big traffic jam is there, and everybody is suffering like that. Huh? And car is moving inch by inch. Okay. At the time, this BMW fellow, fellow you know, sitting inside, he saw, well, tuck, 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 sound is coming. What is it? One helicopter is going. Okay. And you know, in the city, only one industry is, big industry is having helicopter. Okay. And uh, you know, this fellow is telling, God, you are unfair. See, you are giving me only a car. But there are so many fellows in this country having helicopter and even bigger things. Why you are not giving me helicopter? Like that he was asking God. And God got too much confused. What is this? What happened to that helicopter fellow like that he was seeing? Where the fellow is going? You know, that fellow is going to that corporate office hospital, we are saying, you know, initially, first starting our story. And because that particular industry is having a peptic ulcer and he is being transported for an immediate operation, peptic ulcer. And this fellow undergone peptic ulcer operation and he was uh, recovering in his bed and he see through the window, he see one boy, a cobbler boy, he is taking a bite and a mango. And this fellow is telling, God, you are unfair. I got taken even a mango. Whereas everybody is enjoying life, I can't take what I like. Well, this is exactly the life, you know, the things like mechanism like health, mechanism like education, mechanism like, you know, things, you know, makes the things equal in the life. I feel, you know, a person who is very poor, maybe poor, but with a good education, he come and compete with even rich people, right? So, so, just like life, in business also, there are so many things which gives level playing field like rules, rules and regulations you know, building codes, maybe taxation, custom duty, and last but not the least, the ISO standards or whatever standard it is. All these things are uh, come to fail because they want to provide, whether it is a small company or medium company or big company, whatever company it is, they want to provide a level playing field because, okay, it is not that only big companies can compete. You know, small companies can compete if they follow standards, rules, etc., etc. So, what is the standard? Standard is the agreement. Agreement, development, developed by several parties with the intent that everybody comply with the same. Now, the standards are everywhere. Take anything, no? Take, uh, see, you are writing in a, a pen with a paper, right? Take a pen. Every part of the pen is having a standard. The paper, A4 size paper, you know, A2 size paper, everything is a standard. So, in fact, standards are everywhere and we don't even feel that standards are there. And when standards are not there, only we will feel, right? Example, you know, I, I was a trainer, I was just going to introduce from my, you know, my company started a new product, I went everywhere. And, you know, no problem. But suddenly, in you know, one place I went to Thrill Valley or somewhere, the, my total program collapsed because everyone was there, people are there, I was there, my computer was there, my projector was there, but unfortunately, the projector cannot you know, we can't plug the projector into the, into the pin because that is not, that, 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 that hotel at Ternal Valley, you know, that, there are, that plug point is not having this uh, compatible plug point. 
So everyone was there, but unfortunately, because standard was not there, I was put into inconvenience. So many times what happened, standard is not there, we feel, and standards are not there in life, we can't imagine. So standards are very important in your life, and successful standards usually go unnoticed, and when it is there, it is not there, you know. So uh, there are a lot of international standards are there, like quality management, environmental management, uh, energy management, and as IT person, I can say, there's an important standard called information security management, ISO 27001, providing very good, you know, excellent support for, you know, uh, expectation of uh, threats, attacks, and, you know, how to develop a system which is proactively giving us a power to prepare for threats and to eliminate threats, and sometimes we can't eliminate that, reduce the impact of the threats. So this is about information security management and uh, very important thing, no? uh, many times, no? uh, security is everywhere, right? Security is not But uh, sec how, what for security is there? How it is good? Many times security is unsystematic. You know, in Vadivelu movies, one famous thing is there. What is that? Irukke, ana illa. Like that only you will tell. Lot of places, no? take it home. Take offices, take industry, everywhere, security will be there, but actually, if you just come to the real point, if you just go into that, security won't be there. Example, our flat uh, watchman. How many of you are living in flats? One of you? Hmm? Flat watchman, you know, watchman. So, there's a good security. Hmm? So, one day, what happened? One night, no, I just had some uh, long time work, right? At night, 12 o'clock, I able to reach my house. Uh, my house was locked, no, gate was locked. I was shouting, watchman, 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 like that. And uh, nobody came. I got fed up and I just climbed over the gate or something. I jumped over the other side and gone to this place. Coolly sleeping with big blanket and uh, heavily sleeping. You know? So I gone back and gone to home and I shouted, wife, what is the use of this watchman? What is the use of security? You know? This place is sleeping like that. For that chair, my wife told, why do you bother about it? You are an engineer, no? do engineers work, don't do investigators work. Eh? See, that fellow is sleeper and who bothers? That fellow is there, that is sufficient of we are all sleeping. Uh, so don't worry. Then she told, if the phone is another, who will play electricity bills? <laughs> okay. So uh, many times security, what you see is not really systematic. But if you want systematic security, you have definitely go for standards. Moment standards come into that, our system, the way we look at security itself will changes. Our concept changes. Our mindset changes. So we really go for exactly the, the way the security should be organized. So. This is very important that we should have standards everywhere, particularly the aspect of security and safety. So, uh, the standards, how exactly help, you know, they got a lot of uh, application and importance, okay, uh, in terms of safety, in terms of ease of use, in terms of, uh, you know, the transparency between the customer and the vendor, okay, reducing uh, of production cost in terms of, because when production, when standardization is there, most production is possible, right, like depth and bolt. Imagine if standardization is not there, everybody produce nuts and bolts as they like. But mass production is not possible, right? So, uh, production costs are reduced because of standards. And last but not least, the today's uh, topic, standards level playing field. How? Because the SMEs, small and medium enterprises which are using international standards, can find it easier to get its product certified. And once the product is certified, they are better able to compete. Otherwise, what happens? Nobody even consider the initial bid also. When a fellow say without standard, how a small company can compete with big people? And with international standards, SMEs are able to take part in global uh, value chains. For example, many uh, many companies can compete. The, the international bids you know, definitely ensure upon they should have standards, right? So, a small company, big company is not matter. As long as I have standard, I can compete with big people. That way, the standard provides a level playing field. And the reason why it's playing level playing is number one, fairness. Fairness means what? As I told you initially, level playing field is nothing but, however with the field, I provide some additional rules and regulations so that make each party have got equal success of winning. Increased competitiveness, better transparency, overcoming artificial bar barriers and increasing trust. When standards are, standards are there, the customer trusts, yes, this is a good company. I should trust because the minimum standard is already fulfilled, taken over by the, and it is taken care of by the, the standard institutions. And BAS, BAS is providing uh, excellent service in bringing the standards to industry. We have got, as from Ramco Cement, we have got about 21 or 22 uh, certification for different plants. And in fact, as recently as uh, 
three months back we have taken even energy management certification which is very latest in the entry and BA is putting in wonderful service to us and we should be thankful to that and there is some feedback which I received from my people implementing the standard is that the surveillance audit and certification audit conducted separately. This increases the time as well as cost of uh, you know the total. When you see one or two certification okay, when a company, large company have lot of certification and different things going different way. Uh, difference between the surveillance audit and certification audit are conducted separately creates some sort of uh, logistical problems. So if this can be combined together, this is the request we make to uh, BIS. We also uh, request them to have a constant uh, upgradation of standards, okay, particularly for cements I understand, okay, no, uh, any cement which you produce no, in this uh, industry, okay, that minimum uh, uh, strength for example is much much more than what BAA standard uh, specify. So there is there is a need for upgrading the standards, uh, product standard or industry standard as much as possible. And uh, with this thing, no, I just let us congratulate no, all the industry or uh, interpret to BAS for uh, providing us much required service and thereby make giving providing a level playing field. And let us congratulations to and best wishes to BAS on this uh, international or uh, world standards day. And let us give a good hand to BAS. Thank you very much.